Alright, so here I am animating the Stinky Dyke Pirates um, intro. Uh, it's It's been a very long process. I'm at the final stretch, but uh, this part is proving to be quite difficult because I've not only had to just animate one character, I've had to animate three. Um, and it's taking a very long time, as you can see. Uh, there's a lot of movement happening. So my issue is I have to go through and make all of these characters the same size. Uh, there's been a bit of a problem with this. Uh, as you'll see, um, see uh, this is the segment I was animating. and This is just a test render. So if I press play, you'll notice they change in size. Dark Pirates. <laughs> Look, she's massive there, and uh, I was going to have it so it kind of like zooms in, but then I was like, well, I can actually just properly animate that through After Effects uh, if I want to, instead of animating it all through this, and it won't be as choppy, um, because, yeah, just the way you animate frame by frame is, uh, yeah, it, it, it's probably really choppy looking for what I want it to do so uh, oh yeah there's a bit of a <laughs> I noticed I've missed a, a bit of coloring I fully had colored Rhonda um, but I've just deleted all of her colors because her um, yeah her colors were just too uh, like uh, how would you say they were just they were I had to have to resize her so if I have to move her at all from the that side of the frame or you know maybe move it to the left or the right a bit more the colors aren't going to line up because the colors are on a separate layer so this is my pickle okay <laughs> this is the pickle I'm in uh, <laughs> my pickle is showing I'm exposing my pickle to you guys okay so uh, it is yeah it's a bit of a pain in the butt so as you can see this is the first frame of the that segment of this final segment and this is the last frame. You can see a dramatic change in size. Now, I thought, you know, that's all well and good if uh, because they are quite cartoony. And these are going to be, like, in the background. Um, I don't know if you've... I've, well, you wouldn't have seen this yet at all, but... Sorry, i got so much crap on my desktop. Um, so, this segment here, we're going to have Chloe playing the accordion. And um, we're going to have Rhonda here. Like I want them all sitting on this area here, this like rock, like a dike thing. Um, and then we've got a ship in the background, just kind of maybe it would just sort of be rocking and back and forth, uh, and this and the clouds would be moving. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe there'd be too much movement if I did that. Maybe I'll just keep the clouds static, uh, because the main focus here is on the characters. So this is just what I'm thinking as I'm going through doing this. Oh, they've got this, <laughs> they're like, the butts waggling up and down. I actually loved how that part looks. Uh, even just in the mock-up looks funny. Because our hairy butts is all you'll get is the lyric. So it's it's perfect. Okay, so here we have Chloe just kind of like emerges from the bottom left of the screen. Boing, there she is. So this is her here, this big sausage shape thing. Uh, we've got Rhonda here on the left eating a chicken, which we've done so far. Uh, this is supposed to be um, Shannon, and that is Kiki. So, yeah, uh, we've got to kind of have Shannon over there a bit more and have Kiki over there. Now, the way things are, I think the frame is probably a little bit too... Well, not, the frame's not too small, it's just the, the character is too freaking ginormous. See, I've done like a squash and stretch type thing here, and then she goes tiny again. Um, so I've just got to be. Her legs are like different sizes and stuff. That's fine. But I've had to go through and make sure, like, the lines. The thing about vector drawing is, it's not like you're just using a regular paintbrush, because it uses mathematical formulas. Um, to determine the pixels so the cool thing is I can if I draw a line too thin 
I can just go into this because this is all the outline for Kiki. And see, this one's only four point, uh, sorry, five point four, and the ones back here are six point oh. Six point oh is ideally the size I was wanting to go for. Uh, so yeah, these ones are a bit small. The five point four. Because she's sort of in the background, I might have to have a play with that later. Maybe make it 4.0. But uh, I think it would just look better if they're all the same size. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But, yeah. Maybe that's too thick of a line. And it might take away from the detail. So I have to go all the way through these freaking... After I've resized her, I have to go all the way through. And, uh... Yeah, I basically just have to make sure they're they're at 6.0. And that's the fun part. <laughs> See, it's too thin. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. No, it looks okay. Maybe I should just leave it at 4 or 5. Don't know. Because it might take too much detail. Ah, oh, no, nah, it looks okay. I'll just I'll do it at six point and we'll see where we're at. <laughs> I think this one has the most frames. Uh, Kiki's one. She's a bit more active. Whereas the other girls are a bit lazy, <laughs> except for Chloe. Hey, Chloe's pretty um. Pretty active. Shannon's supposed to be the leader of the group. Uh, but, yeah, let's just say Kiki is more of the leader because she is the brains of the operation. Uh, when I say operation, that can mean anything. Because she is, uh, like, just depending on the episode. And like I said uh, in an earlier video, I've actually um, written a plot for, was it, yeah, seven episodes? Uh, and I've got a good idea what I'm going to do, so I just need to flesh them out a bit more. See, this is no good. Her arm is out of the frame. The blue square is the frame. That's not good. We don't want that at all. Um, and she's... Yeah, that's a bit of a pain in the butt. So we want that final frame to be, like, this is the defining moment where the music stops. And it shows the uh, attitude of every single character on the screen of course Chloe's just playing the uh, she'll be playing the accordion here um, so we need to move her say about the on the frame maybe a little bit further yeah the but her arm has to be within this boundary here so oh no we don't want that we want we want to grab the entire Okay, I only just grabbed the frame, I need to grab the entire thing and move it here. How's that? That looks good. I might need to shrink this frame a little bit. Because I feel like she is, that's a bit better. Yeah, that's better. Cool, now we've got to go to the line, make sure it's not 5.6, but 6.0. Cool. Very cool, okay. That gives that same kind of effect that I wanted. All right. Okay, so that's the final frame. Maybe move this back a bit more. Maybe that works. Oh, I hate it. I hate it how it does this. Like, I mean, it's good, 
that it's saving a recovery file, but at the same time, it's really annoying when you're doing a real fiddly part, and it's like, oh, I'm going to save right now. Really frustrating, but yeah. I suppose it's better than you kind of going, trying to animate and then it crashes and then you lose everything. So I guess, you know, I save like hell anyway. <laughs> I, I really make sure I, I save. Uh, right. I may just, oh yeah, that works. That kind of works. I might have to. I'll just have a look without the guidelines on here. Hmm. It's looking good. It's looking real good. Okay. We're the stinky dyke pirate! Yeah, okay, it's looking good. Now i got to do the same with Rhonda, so that's going to take a wee, like, a bit longer. Uh, yeah, so these ones, she's still quite small there, but it's kind of more dyke forgiving. Pirates. Because it's not as stretched. See, they look, they look a lot better than they were. We're the stinky dyke! Uh, hang on, just make sure that... Kiki is landing right where she used to be. Okay, so she's there. She jumps. Okay, I'm just... Uh, she's probably a little bit too... I may need to move her down a bit. Maybe there. That'd work, right? Right, that's about the, where she's standing, and she jumps and lands there. Okay. Maybe. I'll just nudge it down three pixels. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, that works, kind of. We're the stinky dyke pirate! <laughs> cool. We'll wind it right back to the beginning of the animation. Dyke pirates! <laughs> We're the stinky dyke pirate! Oh, that's fucked with the whole thing, isn't it, really? Uh, hmm. Because there's a bit of a problem here. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Maybe just nudge this up a bit. I might need to duplicate the frames and uh, have a play around. Yeah, I might need to do that. Right. Probably going to take a lot longer than I think.
No, alright. Okay. Alright, well, I'll leave this here anyway. Uh, I'm just going to keep tinkering away at it. And I'll let you know, and if, well, you obviously see the finished product once it's done. So, yeah, catch us later.